What's up, family? Think back to the Ferguson protest. Remember the guy who had the American flag t-shirt on and he was photographed throwing a tear gas canister back at the riot police? Well, his name was Edward Crawford and he's now dead. Now, he's not the first Ferguson protester to be found dead. In fact, two others, at least two others that we know of, was found dead under similar circumstances. They were both found dead inside of burning cars with gunshot wounds to the head. Now, let me say this. The police are saying that it was an accident. I'm mean, actually they're saying that it was a suicide. There were two uh, female occupants in the car with him, and the police, according to them, says that the girls uh, heard Edward Crawford tell them that he was depressed, he was thinking about suicide, and all this type of stuff. And then the next thing you know, they hear some rummaging in the back seat of the vehicle. And then they hear a gunshot. They look back, they see blood stains, he's dead. Now, Edward Crawford's dad was quick to say that, hey, I don't think he killed himself. Uh, I think it was an accident. Now, y'all, keep in mind, the coroner's report hasn't even came back yet. But the father is saying, I think it was an accident. Now, either he's somehow in denial about what a Ferguson police is all about, or he's just kind of really, really slow. Because there's no way possible I would jump to a conclusion that fast especially that type of that type of conclusion no way possible i got to give a guy like that the benefit of doubt that he loved life see revolutionaries live to live and that little youngster was a revolutionary he's only 26 years old that's not the type of person that'll kill himself it's just not it's not plausible that somebody like that would kill themselves and on top of that he's a black male black people are the least likely people to kill themselves. We catch the most hell, but we are the least likely people to commit suicide. It doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense, especially considering who we're talking about. We're talking about the Ferguson Police Department. We're talking about the city of Ferguson. We're talking about St. Louis. No. You have to under these circumstances, go with what history has shown us about Ferguson. Ferguson, it has already been documented. It is a racist uh, system. The whole police department is racist. The mayor, racist. The police chief, racist. So you'd have to probably give the benefit of doubt to the victim and say, nah, man, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure that happened. I don't think. Now, is it possible? Well, anything's possible, hell. Anything is possible. But what's the likelihood? That's what I'm going with. The likelihood of him killing himself. Let's go with probability. No. No way possible. I think this dude was murdered and so was the other two guys. In fact, the first time one of them was found murdered, I say, you know, there's a murder. The next time, murder. But, you know, they're going around, a lot of people are being murdered in, in St. Louis and they're calling it suicide. That's the new thing now. When they murder you, uh, they, uh, suicide. These people aren't killing themselves. It's a hit. 
that has been put out on Ferguson uh, poor residents, specifically black residents. And nobody's doing anything about it. Now, don't expect Washington to do anything about it because this is the same Washington that has categorized Black Lives Matter as a terrorist organization. The uh, Attorney General thinks that Black Lives Matter is a threat to national security. So we're not going to get any assistance from these guys. Not at all. In fact, you know, don't be surprised if, if, if they're over there having a toast to, and celebrating the guy's death. Now, I got a salute. I got a big old, big, huge uh, salute to give out to Senator uh, Maria Chappelle Nadal. Let me tell you something, man. She's a, a senator for um, in uh, Missouri. And she took to Twitter this morning and said, Edward Crawford is dead, found in his car shot to death. He is Ferguson's hero. For those of us tear gassed, he was our local champion, RIP. She went on to say thank you in another tweet. It is now not coincidental. There is a murder, murderer targeting activists from Ferguson. We are not invisible. Resist. Salute, salute, salute. Sounds like something coming straight out of the mouth of Maxine Waters. Ooh, them women. Sometimes it's like the women, man, got more courage than some of these dudes. In fact, it don't seem like it. it's true. <laughs> man, God bless your soul for that statement. Because it takes courage to stand up in the face of wickedness. Reading online where certain people were saying things like, you know, when you do stuff like that, you know that that's what comes with it. And just looking at some of the pictures, I, I assume these were black people. And it just amazed me how some people are just so fucking cowardice. You know, they, you know, so coward. You know, uh, you know the, the the cowards in our community, man. They are so much part of the problem. It's like a lot of people think, well, if you're doing something, if you're out there uh, doing something uh, where you're protesting and all that kind of stuff, bringing attention on yourself, you know that you know it's admirable, but you know, I'm not going to do it. Now, if you jump out there and do something and I benefit, I'm going to benefit from it, then I'll, I'll take whatever benefits I can from you risking your life and doing all In fact, I'm going to talk shit about you and I'm going to talk down on you and everything. I'm going to I'm even call you crazy. But if anything comes out of it and I'm treated better uh, by uh, law enforcement or if I'm treated better by my uh, fellow American and I can get some equality out of this, then I will take advantage of it. I will take advantage of it. That's just was it just amazed me, amazes me how many cowards we have in our community. They would it's an old saying that a coward dies a thousand deaths. I don't know how a person live with themselves being a coward. I just don't, I don't, I don't understand it because I, I operate under the premises that anybody, anything you can do to me, I can do to you. So that's why I don't walk around fearing uh, death. I don't walk around fearing what somebody else would do to me because I know I got the same capabilities. So if they come at me, boy, they better come, they better come right. They better come correct. They better not miss because it ain't just me. <laughs> yeah yeah so you know this this attorney general uh jeff sessions uh he's much of the problem too you know he trump 
and the rest of them, uh, they are promoting this climate of you know, gangsterism by local law enforcement and other uh, officials out there. They're promoting the whole climate of hate. They got people thinking it's okay to go around and, and, and hurt people that don't look like them, don't think like them, don't uh, support the same type of uh, religious organizations. They think, they got people thinking that's okay. All of this is very, very, very eerily reminiscent of how they was taking out our civil rights leaders in the 60s, left and right. And every time somebody ended up dead, they had a shitty ass excuse on why that person was ended up dead. Uh, it was suicide. It was old age. Had a shootout with the police. Let me tell you something. All of this is according to what the police say. I don't believe nothing. I mean nothing. I believe nothing the police say in America. The police in America has zero credibility. Zero. This ain't me making up something. This is by looking at their record. I'm, I'm looking at history. I got proof. It's documented. The police in America has zero credibility. I'm not listening to the shit they got to say. I want to see evidence. I want to see the proof. I want to see the investigation. And all of this, we have investigated ourselves and found out that we have done no wrong, ain't going to work. Need to have independent uh, councils coming in and investigating these police shootings and stuff. Investigating this case. They don't need to invest. The police don't need to investigate the case. The feds don't even need to investigate the case. You need to have an independent civilian council, some type of organization that go in and investigate these, investigate these suspicious murders independent of law enforcement and independent of the feds because they're all tainted. That's the truth, man. How did this father jump to the conclusion that fast that his son accidentally killed himself? Accidentally killed himself. Think about it. Then you got to think about who your son is. What type of symbol he represented. He represented the resistance. He represented empowerment. Black empowerment. This dude was a fighter. I don't give a damn if he, he was found dead while he, in his bed. Sleep. If it looked like a Look like he died in his sleep. You, you got to do an autopsy. You got to be suspicious of that death. You got to go in and be suspicious. I don't give a damn how he died. You got to be suspicious. It's, it's crazy, man, what's going on out here, man. These people, once again, are killing our activists. They're killing our leaders. And some people are saying, you know, some people out there, well, you know, if he wasn't doing this, if he wasn't you know, out there and fighting back and he wasn't calling attention to himself, he'd still be alive. And, and what's crazy again is that many of the people that talk down happen to be the same people that he was out there protesting to protect. Now they're going to benefit from the uh, protections that some of the protections that were put in place, however meager, some of the advancements they're going to benefit from that, but at the same time, they're critical of the person who helped them to gain those achievements, gain those advancements, those benefits. It's amazing. A lot of Ferguson citizens are turning up dead. It's not by happenstance. These people are being targeted. They're being murdered. I'm puzzled on top of everything. I'm puzzled as to how the citizens of Ferguson can protest. They could protest Michael Brown's murder because that's what this was all about. They were protesting because 18-year-old Michael Brown, unarmed black kid, 
gunned down, shot at 30 something times by the police. And yet all these people saying, well, he was a thief and he deserved to die. Even though a lot of their asses, same people have been thieves at some point, have stole something. I don't give a damn who you are. In your lifetime, if you a teenager, you stole something. I don't give a damn if it was a pen from your school. You, everybody, everybody has stole something. You've taken your friend's toy you wasn't supposed to take. You've taken or even your sibling's toy or, or put on a, a shirt that wasn't yours and tuck it home. Tuck somebody's CD out of their car. Wasn't yours. So stop acting like you some type of damn moral goddess. People without any more flexibility scare the hell out of me. Nobody deserves to be fucking gunned down in the streets like a dog for stealing anything, especially something out of a store. Think about what I'm saying. I'm talking about a kid, particularly. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I, let, me, let me back up a little bit. It depends on what you do. You, you know, you try to, you know, break in my house or something like that. I gotta get you. You, uh, it's a carjacking. I got to get you. I got to get you. So, yeah, it depends. That, that would depend. But in this situation, that was totally uncalled for. But that was just, that, that is what all of this was about. It was about Michael Brown. And he did not deserve to die like that. And that's what this whole protest was about. And dude stood up. He did what most people ain't got the balls to do. He put action behind his words and it cost him his life. Like it cost Malcolm his life, Martin his life, John F. Kennedy his life, Bobby Kennedy his life, uh, so many other people, just so many, many, so many soldiers, so many revolutionaries. And I, like I said, you know, revolutions, revolutionaries don't kill themselves. Revolutionaries live to live. But getting back to my statement that I wanted to make, my last point is that I don't see how in the world Ferguson citizens would protest. They would protest Michael Brown's murder and then not go vote in the mayoral election and allow the same mayor who created the climate, the volatile climate in the first place, for the police to think it was okay to just gun down innocent kids. I don't see how they would allow that to just happen. It makes absolutely no sense to me. Yo, if you like the videos I'm bringing to you, make sure you go check out my Patreon page. Join the movement, patreon.com slash Willie D Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.